Hey guys! Uh, it's been forever and a half since I've filmed anything, so I thought I'd make a quick video um, just to give you some updates, and I want to show you a few things I got recently, just a teeny tiny haul. Um, basically, I've been crazy with school. Uh, I've had so much homework, and I worked on a production of Sweeney Todd that we did, so that was time-consuming. So I did fi film few film a few videos a while back, but they like they were like holiday stuff, and I just didn't get them up in time for it to be relevant anymore. So I'm just not gonna put those up. Um, it was just like a haul of what I got for Christmas and all that. And if you're if you want to know, I can put them up. But I figure it's kind of irrelevant at this point since it's now March. I just never got around to it. Um, so basically. That's what I've been up to, is school. Um, I got my nose pierced wrong side. Haha. <laughs> if you can see. It looks a little red around it, but that's... Like, it kind of looks like it's irritated because of the piercing, but that's not what it is. It's because my skin is red. Um, so, and I can't put makeup, like, all the way around it because that's just a terrible idea. I just don't want to go there. So, I'm leaving, like, a ring around it, so... I don't know, if you have any advice on how to make that look a little better, I'd be happy to know, because, yeah, right now it just looks a little pink around there, which is fine, as long as it's healthy and all that, you know, whatever. Phone's going off, sorry. Um, so yeah, I got it done. I don't think this place is a chain, so I don't think I'm going to tell you where I got it done, because that's weird. Um, but they were really good, and it hurt a lot less than I thought it would. And then I wanted it for a while, and just, like, on a whim, my best friend and I took a bus down. We were going to a party that night, and we were just like, well, we have, like, an hour and a half before we're gonna get ready to go. So, let's just go pierce something, because that's what college kids do, you know? So that's what we did. That's what I got pierced. So, I love it. Um, the place I got it done, I believe I got it done for, like, 40 bucks. I think 40 bucks. I think I had, like... This is funny, my school gives out coupons, and they gave us a coupon for tattoos and piercings, so I used my tattoo piercing coupon from my university, which is really cute. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's what I've been up to. Um, I'm going to an interview, that's why I have, okay, yeah, the reason I haven't been filming is because even when I, like, I'll get free time, I'll be like, oh, I should make a video, I'm never wearing makeup. Because when I have free time, I'm either going to the gym, just getting back from the gym, or, like, getting back from class and immediately taking my makeup off, or getting back from rehearsal and immediately taking my makeup off, before I think, oh, I should film while my face doesn't look like Swamp Monster kind of thing. I don't know. And I'm always wearing workout clothes, and it's just like, what's the point? If I already look like a slob, like, I don't know. So, not that I mind looking like that, but filming like that is not... Mm. So, basically, I was like, oh, I'm going to be dressed up today, so I might as well just make a video. So, I'm wearing a Target dress um, that you can sort of see. Target this year, you guys need to go, because they brought out their, I guess, I guess this is like their summer stuff. I don't really know if it's spring or summer, but they have that out, um, and they have really cute dresses, which they always do, but this season, it seems like the style is more like high neck, like, this is a high, pretty high neck, like, you don't see any cleavage, so that's good, um, for a job interview, and I was looking for some work clothes, because I'm gonna be substitute teaching this year, and I'm looking for, like, higher neck, appropriate work clothes, so this is a good thing, and they're also bringing out dresses with, like, nicer fabrics, which I am a goober, and I don't know what fabric this is, but I know it's not cotton, um, <laughs> I think it's polyester, and I could be totally wrong, and I'll put it down below if I am totally wrong. But they're bringing out a lot of dresses with that material, which I think looks more work appropriate, and also, I have a hard time with cotton dresses from Target. They, like, fade when you wash them, and they pill, which they're really comfy, but it's better that they last longer, in my opinion. And I feel like this is gonna last a long time, and it's just like, I can maybe stand up? Let's see. But yeah, it just has, like, an ampere waist, and it's, like, it's above the knee, but not way far above the knee. So, oh, and it crisscrosses in the, I don't know if I can show you that, but it crisscrosses in the back. Really cute. Um, so yeah, that's, I guess I'll just do my, like, 
these are my bracelets that I wear like every day. Um, and I just have black tights on, and then I have earrings from Claire's. This is in one of those like six pack sets. It's just like a little sparkly gold thing and a gold leaf. Um, my makeup is just like my regular makeup. I used the Naked 2 palette, which I got, I think I got it in January, maybe February, I think it was January. I got it with a gift card I got for Christmas from Ulta, and I was so surprised that Ulta had it because I feel like Ulta is really slow on the uptake on like new brand stuff, which is kind of nice because then I can be like, oh, I watched all the reviews and weeks later Ulta gets it in, so I know I want it at that point. Um, so that was good, but they had a million and a half of them, shockingly. Um, so I got Naked 2, and I know you've all seen this a million times, but I love it. It's super nice. I haven't decided which one I like better, because I know everyone's doing these, like, uh, I'm trying to grab it, <clears throat> comparisons between the two of these, and I know everyone's like, this one's warm, and this one's cool, and my skin tone, I feel like my skin tone itself is cool, but my hair is warm, so I feel like I can wear either of these, and it looks good. Right now I'm wearing Naked 2, like I said. Um, but I really like it because I really like the highlight color at Booty Call on the inside. Um, and I like the mattes. That's what I'm wearing is, um, Foxy and Tees. The two, two of the matte colors that are in Naked 2. And obviously it's Urban Decay. It's really nice quality. I love them both. They're so worth the money. I know it seems like a lot to drop on one product, but it's gonna last forever and it's perfect for, like, it's work appropriate, but it's still pretty colors. Like, you're not wearing, like, green shimmery eyeshadow, but you still look cute. So, I approve. That was one thing I wanted to show you. Um, so yeah. Otherwise, my makeup is just really my normal, like, Revlon Photo Ready foundation. I have my brows done with my Anastasia powder. Um, I don't- I have, uh, Urban Decay Zero on the waterline, and that's pretty much it for eyeliner, and then I just have MAC, um, Plush Lash, and then... On my lips, this is one of the things I want to show you. Um, and this is Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick in Top Tomato, which is number 50 or 050. And it's awesome. My best friend has this, and I hadn't bought it, even though I've tried it on a couple times at her room. And it's just, I might do a separate review if you want to know about it, but it is amazing. It stays on forever. Like, I put it on yesterday at, like, 9 a.m., and I went until, like, 3, and I had lunch, and I had tea, and I had water, and it was, like, barely faded on the inside. But my only complaint about this is it's so hard to take off. It is so hard to take off. You're pretty much stuck with it. Once you put it on, it's like a tattoo, which is great for what I want it for, because I want to be able, like, this interview, I'm going to, like, a lunch interview, so I want to be able to, like, eat and not have, like, lipstick all over my face and, like, looking like a hot mess. So this is perfect. That's why I got it. I got this at Target. I mean, the price will vary, but I want to say it was, like, eight bucks. It's, I mean, lip products from Target are usually, like, seven, eight, nine. So let's go with eight bucks. Um, another thing I got, which I'm wearing, is Sally Hansen Lacy Lilac, number 270, and it's the Hard as Nails Extreme Wear, like, the little, like, two or three dollar ones, and you can see it on my nails. I love, like, lavender lilac colors, and I have OPI, uh, oh shoot, Do You Lilac It, and it, I've had it for, like, two or three years it's probably not that old, maybe two years, and it's gone goopy, you know, and then, like, I still try to use it and, like, scrape it onto my nails because it's so pretty and it's just gross. It can't happen. So I just saw this, like, sitting on a random shelf, and I was like, gimme, and so I grabbed this. I think these are, like, $2.99 or something, and actually, the consistency is really good. I haven't used that many of these because I just never think of it, um, but I think, I think the consistency is really good for these, so... I approve. Um, another thing I got, ah, throwing things, um, when I went to Ulta was the Urban Decay All Nighter, sp all -nighter Spray. Um, this is the XL one, which I didn't want to buy the big one because I was like, oh, it's going to be a pain to transport and blah, blah, blah. But it is only $4 more than the regular one that's like there, I think. Um, I have it over there, but I'm lazy. And it's, um, you get a lot more, so I was like, I might as well, because I really like this for summer, and I don't put it on before my makeup, I put it on just after my makeup, um, to set it, and it really does work. 
Like, the first time I used it, I was like, oh, this doesn't do anything. And then once I stopped using it, I was like, oh, that really does something. Because my, like, my foundation would wear off on, like, my nose and my chin where I have, like, acne scarring down here and, like, redness all through here. And that would start to show through because I wasn't using this. And so I love this for summer because it just keeps it on. Um, I know it's not summer yet, but in my mind, I'm pretending like it's summer because I just hate the winter so much. I'm just so over it. It was snowing yesterday and I was having a fit in my car. I was like, this cannot happen anymore. The weather is such a tease because we had like 65 degree days and I was like, great, we're done. Go spring. Let's roll on to summer. And now it's like, oh, snowflakes. I'm like, no, no, no. We were done with this. Let's let's keep going with the spring summer thing. So that's that's basically where I'm at. Um, another thing, I went to the mall. Oh no, this is another Ulta thing. Uh, this is the Shea Sugar Body Scrub, and I've shown these before in a few videos. But this is a new scent, new, and it's tropical mango. And it's like a real pretty color. It's like peachy with little exfoliating beads, and this is just a sugar scrub. Totally love these. They're like $7.50, I think, at Ulta. And they go on sale where you can get buy two, get one free. I just didn't feel like doing that this time. I don't know. I don't really know what my thought process was at Ulta this time. I was just grabbing random stuff. So yeah, that's that's that. I love mango. I love eating mango, smelling like a giant mango. It's great. So speaking of that, I went to the mall. And pretty much every mall around me has a body shop, and I love the body shop. I think they're really, they're overpriced, but they're really nice products, and they smell really nice. So it's like a little treat thing. Um, I tend to do it more in the summer. Again, I'm pretending like it's summer. Um, so the first thing I got was the Mango Body Scrub. Oh, and they have this thing going on. If you guys have a body shop, I don't know if yours is doing it, but you like spin a wheel thing. I was seeing if I had my coupon. And they give you, like, this little sheet and, like, you can spin for, like, 50% off or, like, buy one, get one. That's 50%. That was stupid. Um, like, buy, I think mine, I got a really lame one. It was, like, buy three, get one free, which, okay, like, it's a free thing, but whatever. I didn't do that. Um, and then I used my, my dad actually spun it, and so I stole his coupon. And he had to buy $30 worth of stuff, get $10 off, which that's a good deal because $30 is easy to do in there, I think. So, I got the Mango Body Scrub, which I've never tried their scrubs, and obviously I use scrubs, so I'm excited to try that. I use scrubs on my keratosis, so if you guys have keratosis, um, I found that sugar scrubs work really well. Um, so, another thing I got was the Satsuma Body Butter. I love their body butters. I think they're the best body butters out there. They're like, they smell so good. Like, you don't even need perfume when you put these on. And I love this smell. Um, I want to say that it's Clementines, but I really don't know what Satsuma is. So we're going to go with it smells like Clementines, um, if you know, like, those little cuties. And then the other thing I got was a little sample size of the Grapefruit Body Butter because it smells good. Like, I smell it and I'm like, oh, that's nice. But I don't know how it's going to smell on my body, like, with my chemistry smelling that, like, bitterness. I'm not sure. So I wanted to get, like, the little $5 tub of it to test it out on me. Because you can test it in the store, but by that point you're, like, covered in stuff and nothing really smells right. And you're kind of in a transfixed state. So I was like, I'm just going to get this, try it out, see if I want the whole thing. They sell these at Ulta, too. Ulta, or at least my Ulta, has the body shop stuff, which I think is awesome. So I can just get this. I think Sephora has it, too. I don't think they have everything, but I want to say they have the body butters. Which is basically, like, that. I think that seems to be everyone's favorite thing. Ulta has more stuff from them. I think Ulta has the scrubs and the um, shower gels, too. So, alright, guys. Um, that's basically my update and finally, like, getting back on the internet. Good times. Um, so, if you have any requests for videos, I want to start filming again. I'm going to try. I really am. Once it starts being warm, I'm going to try and look nicer and film more and blah, blah, blah. So spring resolutions. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any requests or any questions or you want me to review any of those like random items I showed. I might do that too. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm on spring break, so if you're in college and you're on spring break, have a good time, stay safe, be smart. See you guys.